Serena Williams gushes about Dream New Orleans nuptials as she model gown for brides. Serena Williams loved her November New Orleans wedding to Reddit co-founder Alexis Ohanian. And the tennis champ told her Instagram followers she wished she could experience it all over again as she plugged her February-slash-March cover of Brides magazine. I still am hoping someone invents a time machine so I can relieve the wedding. And eat the bin yes thank you at Brides magazine, the mother of one wrote. She also talked about her dresses, which she modeled for the cover. This at Donatella underscore Versace at Versace underscore official was a dream come true. The cape. Well, I needed a cape. My two dresses was the best dress I've ever worn. This is on new stands now, said Williams. And at the end of her note she went out of her way to say, I love you at Donatella underscore Versace. Serena looked like a princess as she modeled her white gowns. She wore two fetching numbers for her nuptials that saw Beyonce and Kim Kardashian as guests. One was white lace that was low cut in front and came in at the waist, showing off her gym-toned curves. The other was white satin with a belt and a sheer dotted cape. In both images she flashed diamond jewelry. For the first dress when Anna Wintour asked me what I wanted to wear I said a cape I just want to wear a cape she said. Well Sarah Burton with that Alexander C. Queen is the one for you. Thanks Anna. Thanks Sarah. I felt like a princess and superwoman all at once. She also wore sneakers at one point. Serena was unapologetic in explaining she put comfort first on her special day. Meet Michelle at Maraca Michelle the amazing woman behind my incredible at Nike Cortez shoes. Yes I wore them down the aisle. Comfort for this bride. Thanks Michelle. She captioned the video. In the video, Michelle fastidiously applied an array of silver and gold hued gems by hand onto the trainer before proudly showing off her completed work for the camera. Serena is sponsored by Nike, which released a capsule collection in her honor several years prior. The tennis star wore not one but two pairs of bedazzled shoes. After exchanging vows with Alexis, she switched out of the Nikes for a pair of strappy high heels, which Michelle also worked on. Serena's wedding to Alexis took place at the Contemporary Arts Center of New Orleans, with the pair surrounded by a bevy of friends, families and a listers for the Beauty and the Beast themed bash. Alexis really wanted to do New Orleans, Serena told Vogue in an exclusive interview. It's his favorite city besides Brooklyn. It's got a heavy European influence, it's fun and has amazing food. He just loves the vibe. She added that the decision to hold it at the Arts Center was a decision we both made. Painting and art is something I'm really passionate about, so it just felt natural and different to do it at a contemporary art museum. Serena and her new husband are parents to two-month-old daughter Lexis Alim Piahanian Jr. The tennis star previously dated hip-hop star Common, who revealed to TMZ he didn't even know his ex had gotten married. I didn't see it. I didn't see it, but God bless her. She's the queen, she's the queen. Congratulations to them. He told the website.